Fortnite has a secret side to its storyline, involving the Seven, Kevin the Cube, the IO, and... Time travel? Okay, let's calm down here. Today, we look at the secret storyline of Fortnite Chapter 1 and its overarching theme that you didn't even know existed. Watch until the end to not miss any of my points about the secret storyline of Fortnite Chapter 1. Don't forget to hit that like button, and let's get right into this. To start, my theory in this video is that the Seven had a single mission in mind throughout the entire Fortnite Chapter 1 storyline. But first, we need to start at the very beginning. In the first few seasons of Fortnite, you may notice that many of the skins are snapshots of the same base characters. Now, this could be easily explained as Epic just not being very creative with their skins when, you know, the game just came out, but there's also a storyline reason for this. The Fortnite island in its early days was first discovered by the Imagined Order. Of course, the IO wants to investigate this strange island, so they send a small team of recruits that we all know. Again and again, these same recruits are sent into the loop. Because of this, many different snapshots of those same people are created. But later on, something else starts to happen. Around Season 2 and Season 3, loopers that are not snapshots of the original recruits begin appearing on the Fortnite island. Enter the Seven, an elite group of reality travelers. In late Season 3, large meteors began falling from the sky. By the start of Season 4, the Visitor had arrived on the island. It's important to note that the names of the Seven are descriptions of each of their roles. In the case of the Visitor, he is the first one of the Seven to arrive on the island, that is, to visit it. It's not completely clear whether or not the Seven came to the island intentionally, but once they did, they had a plan in mind. Throughout Season 4, the Visitor began building a rocket, and by the end of Season 4, it was ready to launch. This step was crucial to the Seven's entire plan, before breaking the loop, the Visitor had to create a few rift connections key to their plan. After launching, the rocket passes through various rifts on the island. Listen carefully to what it says before then. When the rocket created these rifts on the Fortnite map, it set up a network of places to direct objects from other realities. This detail will be crucial later on. From the Batman X Fortnite comics, we know that the Zero Point can transport things across thousands of realities. By using the Zero Point Oscillator, the Seven set coordinates for many things to be rifted in the far future. Looking closer, we see that the rocket created rifts at Moisty Mire, Greasy Grove, Loot Lake, and finally, the one that brought in Kevin the Cube. With these rifts in place, the next step of the plan was ready to be executed. During Season 5 of Chapter 1, Kevin the Cube was brought to the Fortnite Island using one of the rifts planted during the rocket launch event. Throughout the rest of the season, Kevin the Cube began roaming the island until it reached its destination assigned by the rocket, Loot Lake. Kevin the Cube then pulled out the middle island from Loot Lake. Once it had gathered enough energy, it could activate another rift. We now arrive at the Butterfly Live event. After letting a final drop of dark energy onto the zero point, Kevin the Cube exploded above Loot Lake. In doing this, the Seven instructed the zero point to use yet another rift planted during the rocket launch event, the one above Greasy Grove, to bring in the ice biome of Season 7. Inside of Polar Peak was everything that the Seven needed for their plan. After the prisoner escaped from Polar Peak, he created a large volcano on the top right corner of the map. This volcano later erupted during the Season 8 Unvolting event, laying the foundation for the Devourer to break out of Polar Peak. Next, in Season 9, Singularity, acting as a double agent between Io and the Seven, came to the island and built Neo Tilted. As we know now, Singularity is also a member of the Seven as the Paradigm. The description for the Paradigm outfit even notes, her allegiance is unknown directly referencing how she works for both Io and the Seven. Throughout Season 9, the Devourer began slowly hatching out of Polar Peak. During this time, the giant mecha was being built inside of the remains of the volcano. Singularity staged this event to the Io to make it look like she intended to protect the island from the Devourer. However, in reality, Singularity's true intentions were to continue the Seven's elaborate scheme to expose the Zero Point. 
the Seven's plan worked. During the final showdown event, Singularity successfully released the Zero Point from the Vault. With the Zero Point exposed, it was time for the finale. During Season X, the now exposed Zero Point grew increasingly unstable, and so, it was time for the final step of the plan. In the end event, the Seven coordinated something that required perfect precision, bringing each of themselves to the Fortnite Island from different times. Remember the activation of the Zero Point Oscillator in the Visitor's Rocket? Now is the time for that. The Visitor used the Zero Point Oscillator to travel to the end event. The rocket that we see right here may be the Visitor's Rocket from the original Rocket Launch event. After Singularity left the Fortnite Island at the end of the final showdown event, she traveled to the end event as the Paradigm. All of this is thanks to the junction that the scientist mentions in his recordings. In the end event, the Seven synchronize their rockets to arrive on the Fortnite Island at precisely the same time. The IO realized what the Seven were attempting to do, that is, break the loop, and intercepted their mission, causing their entire plan to fail. But the Seven are not done with their plan. In fact, they are working on a new plan, a new chapter of their mission to break the loop. I hope you enjoyed this theory. If you did, hit that like button and be sure to leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe if you want more videos like this one, and I'll see you next time.